Welcome. I got a request to make a Raspberry Pi video on changing the user and changing the host name. So this is kind of a way to customize the Raspberry Pi for yourself. So I'm doing this on a Raspberry Pi 4, but it should work on any of the Raspberry Pis. I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using though, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link to my Raspberry Pi playlist where you can find my other Raspberry Pi projects. So I have a Raspbian Buster uh, full desktop build here. And when you install Raspbian, it creates a user called Pi, P-I, and the host name is Raspberry Pi. So to change these, I'll open up a terminal. So before I change the user, I'm going to go over some functionality that you can use if you want to customize everyone's account that is using this system. So this isn't as important for one person using it, but if you're going to create accounts for lots of people, you may want to customize it. So if you type cd space forward slash etc forward slash scale, which would stand for skeleton, and then we can type ls space dash al, and this is a skeleton or a template for creating a user uh, home directory. So you, here you have bash logout, bash rc, and dot profile. So you can add anything here. You could add scripts, uh, files, whatever, to this, and it will be added to the user account when you create it. So I'll just uh, create a file here. I'll say sudo nano space welcome dot txt. Welcome to our system. Save that out. So here we have this welcome.txt. So when we create our user account, this file will be saved in that directory. So I'll go back to my home directory. I'll clear the screen. If you want to find out who you're logged in as and the host name, it's usually in your prompt. So you see it says pi at raspberry pi. So you can also type who am I, and that will tell you who you're logged in as. So if I typed sudo space su or su, so you see here it says root at Raspberry Pi, and that's because I'm root now. So I'll say, who am I? It also says root. So I'll exit that, clear my screen. So to add a user, I want to type sudo space add user space, and then the name of the user. So I'll just choose Rick, I'll hit enter. So you see it added the user Rick, group Rick. It said added the user Rick to the group Rick. It created a home directory, and it copied the files from this scale. It's asking for my password, so I'll type a new password here. And then it'll ask for my full name, and you can fill these in or you can just hit enter. So I'll just hit enter. It says full name, room number, work phone, home phone, other. And it says, is this information correct? I'll say yes. And it's done. So now if I type ls space forward slash home forward slash rick, you'll see we have that welcome.txt file there. So I'll clear this out. So next we want to give the rick user sudo privileges so they can execute things as root. So we just type sudo space add user space rick space sudo we hit enter and that will add us to the sudo group and that will give us sudo privileges so i'll clear this so now i can type su rick it'll ask me for my password so now i'm switched over to the rick user account i am still in the pi directory so i can just type cd one time and that will take me back to my home directory so if i type ls here you'll see we have that welcome.txt file so if i want to do something with sudo here I can type sudo space, and I can just type ls. And it says I have to type a password in. So I can type my password in, and it will run that command. Now, you don't need sudo to run ls, but I'm just using that as an example. So if you want to allow the new account you created to have sudo privileges without a password, there are some changes you have to make. So I'll exit out of here. I'll go back to the pi user account, and I'll type cd space forward slash etc forward slash sudoers.d slash. I'll hit enter. I'll type ls, and you see we have these files here. So you can create this file from scratch, but I think it's easiest just to copy it. So I'll type sudo space cp space 010 underscore pi dash no password, and then I'll create the same thing for my user account. So it'll be 010 underscore rick dash no password, and I'll hit enter. And now I want to type sudo space nano space 010 underscore rick dash no password. I'll hit enter. And here we have pi all equals all no password colon all. So I just want to change pi here to be my new user account. So I'll change that to rick. I'll hit control o to save, control x to exit. I'll hit cd to go back to my home directory. I'll clear the screen. So if I type su space rick, I'll go back into my rick account. 
If I type sudo space ls now, it doesn't ask for my password. So I'll exit out of this, and I'll exit my terminal here, and now I'll go up to the Raspberry Pi icon, and I'll go to shutdown, and I'll go to logout. So now I'm at the login screen. I'll click on Pi here, and I'll change it down to Rick, and I'll type my new password in. So now I want to change the host name, so I'll open up another terminal, and I can see my host name is Raspberry Pi, but I can also type host name CTL, I'll hit enter, and this says our static host name is Raspberry Pi, it says icon name is computer, it has the machine ID, the boot ID, operating system, kernel, and architecture. To change the host name, I want to type sudo space hostname CTL space set dash hostname space Rick Pi. So Rick Pi will be my new host name, I'll hit enter. So the host name has been changed, and it won't update everywhere right away. So next I want to update the host file, so I want to type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash hosts, hit enter, and I want to go down here where it says Raspberry Pi, and I'll change this to my host name, Rick Pi. I'll type control O to save, control X to exit. Now if I type host name CTL again, you can see my host name is updated. So I'll clear my screen. So now if I type ping space rickpi.local, we won't get any pings out of this yet, and we need to update something. So we need to start the Avahi daemon. So I want to type sudo space system ctl, and then restart space avahi dash daemon. I'll hit enter, and now if I go up and ping that, it will work now. Now our terminal says rick at raspberry pi. I can exit out of this and open up a new terminal and we'll get a new prompt there. So it says Rick at Rick Pi now. So now I'll restart the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I booted back up. So now I want to remove the Pi user account and we'll run into a problem doing this. So you want to type sudo space user del space dash r space pi. And when we hit enter, it says it's being used by another process. So I have this set up to auto login. What I want to do is run sudo space raspy dash config. And I'll go into boot options. I'll go to desktop CLI, and I'll just choose desktop without the auto login. I'll hit OK, and I'll say finish. It wants me to reboot now. I'll say yes. Okay, so I'm at the login screen. I'll type my password. I'll open up another terminal, and I'll type sudo space user del space dash r space pi. And now if we type cat space forward slash etc forward slash password, or P-A-S-S-W-D, I'll hit enter and the Pi user is no longer on the system. So if you want to auto log in, you'll want to run sudo space raspy config again, and then go down to your boot options, and then update that with the auto login. So now the system will automatically boot me in. So that's all for this video. So if you want to see what I typed in, check out that link in the description I'll put down there, the show notes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.